Hi, Steve here. We're uh, putting stone around the windows. It's really nice. We only had so much to work with and I wanted to make sure we had enough for each for all the windows to go around. So I'm doing the window seals in the gray and then the sides and top will be in the green. Um, I know we wanted to do the bathroom with those and I haven't had a chance to go into the bathroom, but those colors are very dark. We're ready to pour concrete. We got to pour concrete first before we can do anything in here. And then I can stone up the walls or tile up the walls with that band we were talking about. Um, Dawn, we have to get that trench completely done so Dawn can put his electrical in. And they are calling for, oh yeah, we're sanding this too. That trench out front, they're calling for 30 inches through solid lava rock. Um, we trimmed all the, the iron woods so you could see the ocean now. We just got to kind of clean up. That's why I was talking, we got to get a bobcat in here or something so we can really make some room. Um, Brandon's been painting a lot and uh, Don's running the electrical. We got all these painted, all the drips sanded off and we repainted them. Um, they're much more nice to look at, of course. Uh, power ran up there. New fiberglass door, because that one's falling apart. So we got you a new fiberglass door. And coming around here, we got this door painted. And he got this all painted. We're gonna do the little trim in white and see if you like it. If not, we could just paint yellow over it. Um, this was Brandon's idea. I just said, okay, go with it, I guess. Um, hopefully it'll look pretty good. We redid these uh, tongue and groove pine. And, uh, oh yeah, the trench. We still gotta go a few more inches down on this trench. But this is this trench has been really hard work, wearing us down uh, through solid, solid blue rock. Going up, we're redoing the railing, the little brackets got all rusted, so I got some bronze ones. They're only like eight bucks a piece at Home Depot. And then we redid this railing. So this railing is all new. No more rusty screws. Uh, we put stainless steel in it. I just got to put the cap on. Up above, we redid the whole ceiling. And he, Brandon sanded it all the way to the bone. It came out really good. We also sprayed uh, termite treatment before we stained twice. Um, we had to get more yellow, of course. But we still found this, this color is still in stock and looks really good though, everything. Um, one thing I wanted to mention we're having a problem with is 90% of the tile is, is sticking very well. You can hear it. But where we got a, a heavy storm and I wonder if it was the heat but a lot of these were not sticking right in this area. Um, it's feeling pretty solid. I just need your implant. Like, should we do concrete up here? Because um, I would hate for us to do the whole thing and then more start popping up. It's when water gets underneath them because we haven't had time to grout. So water will get underneath these things and the steam makes them come right off. So you could see all the grout is stuck to the tile now. Um, hardly any grout sticking to the membrane. And this is the exact same stuff they use for showers. But when I put my hand on it on a hot day, these tiles end up being about 150 degrees a piece. So I, I, I learned that it was when it rained 
the water runs underneath them and then the heat makes the water steam popping the tile off. Um, we just started realizing this the other day. I didn't do the rest of it. We still have more we can return. Um, sorry about all this guys. I, I've never seen this not stick to membrane and this is the Versabon. So we have to figure out, um, should we just pour concrete up here or find another bonding agent for these tile, which we can experiment with a few different uh, liquid nails to other things just to make sure this tile sticks. Um, yeah, this is a challenge right now. We, uh, we cleaned up all the, the landscape really well. No more ironwood trees, just a couple little tiny ones. But the trees are so big you couldn't even see inside the swimming pool. There's all the cuttings. And uh, yeah, we're just been real busy here. Uh, painting the whole house at the same time, taking it down to the bone, uh, silicone and stuff. And we just need to continue with Don finishing his electrical so we can close the walls and do the plaster. I did the trim around all the windows and the doors on the exterior of the pool house. So you see there's wood trim around the windows now. And uh, so that's gotta be finished. Um, other than that, things are looking real good. Um, yeah, we need to just finish that trench so Don can drop his electrical. We've got 30 inches right there at the driveway and they say you need 30 inches down um, to run the electrical line. Pretty crazy. Us, this, this really threw me for a loop doing this trench and all three of us were jumping in that hole and it's it's not a very happy time digging that hole <laughs> but uh we, we almost got her done and i uh have to cut out cavities through the blue rock with my grinder and it's uh they want you to have the same code if you were in arizona they don't care you're in Hawaii. They want you to have the same depth as internet or national building code. Um, the Ulu tree's doing real good. The other one's doing all right. And well, uh, yeah, this is this is a whole semi. About twenty tons of, of rock here. Um, but the, Ulu, the other Ulu tree is doing real good over there, too. I thought about this palm. I know it's kind of scary with all these coconuts coming down. We could build another lanai roof where a hole goes through the roof for the palm tree. And if they ever fell down, they just fall onto this California hip. So we just do a like a V, a California ridge right in there. Or, you, you know, you take the, the tree out, whatever you want to do. It has really good coconuts, but I guess it would be cheaper to take the tree out than do the, the little lanai action right here. Um, but yeah, everything's looking real sharp. Uh, we got to get these windows. We're moving up to the window seals where the paint's... Um, peeling so he has to take it all the way down to the bone to make sure it doesn't peel again and uh, there's Brandon right now with the putty knife um, but yeah things are doing pretty good out here in Hawaii and uh, again we just gotta deal with this trench so Don can close the walls after the rough in electrical inspection so we're done with the plumbing we're done with the electrical Ruffins, and uh, as, as soon as we're done with this electrical, as soon as this trench is inspected, um, real close here. Thank you guys. Aloha.